city council member, and I'm running to be your next mayor. I'm about as St. Pete as it gets. I was born in the heart of downtown at Bayfront Hospital and graduated from St. Pete High. I'm a small business owner with a portfolio of apartments that I rent out below average market rent. In 2019, I was honored to be elected to city council as the youngest member in our city's history. I have an outsider business mindset coupled with success inside the walls of City Hall that make me the best choice to be your next mayor. Would you as mayor work with the Rays? Uh, one minute to you, Mr. Blackman. Thank you. Well, first of all, the answer is yes. St. Pete can sustain a Major League Baseball team. We're a Major League City and, and we deserve a Major League team. That being said, how would I work with the Rays uh, leadership? I'd work with them the same way I've worked with them as a council member. I have a great relationship with the uh, executive leadership of the Rays and I, I talk to them multiple times each week. And, you know, the reason is I respect them because they've respected us. They've been good corporate partners and they've, they've supported a lot of charities in our city. But I'd like to see that stadium site reimagined with a consolidation between the Rowdies and the Rays on one stadium so we could also have Al Lang be redeveloped, hopefully as parkland or possibly even a museum it would benefit our entire community. But absolutely, I'd continue working with the Rays in the same way I've worked with them on, on council. Mr. Blackman. Okay. Your response? Yes, I would support uh, bed tax dollars as well. I have a good working relationship with the county commission too, and I'm proud to be endorsed by Commissioner Kathleen Peters. Um, you know, we need to look at land in lieu of payment. That's what I had said before uh, when, when we were asked about this, because uh, we right now have a stadium on 86 acres. If we could build a new stadium on 30 acres uh, with, with a 13 acre stadium and maybe 17 or 18 acres in lieu of payment, that would be the way to go, but no general fund dollars and no giving away everything just to get a team like the debacle in Miami. And finally, Mr. Bolin. Thank you. Mr. Blackman, you're on to you. Uh, let me repeat the question. Do you believe systemic racism is a problem in St. Petersburg's police department? Well, peaceful protests are a part of our democratic process, and I fully support the right of anybody to share their opinion, and it always makes us better. You know, we can only learn from hearing more viewpoints. That being said, I want to make it very clear, as some of the other candidates did not, I do not believe that racism is an issue within our St. Pete Police Department, and I fully support our officers. We have one of the most diverse uh, police departments in the entire nation, and our diversity is what makes us so strong. That being said, we can curb crime by supporting our police. You know, I lived in Midtown St. Petersburg for a number of years across from Merlo's Elementary on 13th Avenue South, and all the time people asked for more officers. And with the murder rate up and violent crime up in our city, we need more officers because everyone in every neighborhood in our city deserves to be safe and feel safe when they go home and put their head down on their pillow at night. Please go ahead, please. Thank you. I, on council, I've fought for uh, ends to, to gun violence. I, I put forward a new business item to have a gun buyback program. I also want more educational opportunities because that's why kids uh, turn to crime because they have no economic opportunity and they don't see a future. So we need to show kids there's a better way forward through different educational opportunities. That being said, uh, I went to a number of the NAACP's uh, community conversations, but Commissioner Welsh was a commissioner for 20 years, and the problem got no better under his leadership in South St. Pete. So why should we expect any different now? Thank you all for those answers. Now it's time for our lightning round. For the rest of the questions, you will have just 15 seconds to respond each, and we'll see how many we can get through. First question, should the city privatize its marina? We're going to you first, Mr. Blackman. Absolutely not. Um, the, it's been an asset that's been paid into by the public. We should have a management company so that we can become smarter and get more money for our citizens. But in no way should a private asset, or excuse me, a public asset be privatized because it's our waterfront. It's all the citizens' waterfront. We should never give it away to a private company for profit. Thank you very there much. A project Tom. that you would invest in during your first term to protect St. Petersburg against climate change. And in 15 seconds, be as specific as possible on what you would do to protect the city against climate change. And uh, Mr. Blackman, you are up first. 15 seconds, go ahead. So leading with science would be most important to me. I've fought to revitalize the Science Center in my district on the west side of town so we can teach scientific learning to our youth. Also, I'd like to plant oyster beds and mangroves because we have to have natural shorelines and resiliency, which is the best way to maintain our environment and protect against climate change. Thank you.